how do I connect this old school copper drain line to this new school ABS drain line when you can see that there is clearly a size difference? Let me show you. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. So I'm helping a friend with an old house remodel and they have some old school copper drain line. I am fixing to install a T with some ABS. I just wanted to show you how to put those two different types of material together. This fitting works for adapting copper to either ABS, cast iron, PVC, or steel pipe. So come along, let's get to fixing. If you put these two pieces of inch and a half pipe together, you can see that the ABS is actually just a little bit bigger than the copper. And so that's why they make this awesome no hub adapter. These things are sweet. This is by ProFlex. You can see right here that this side, this rubber, there's a lot more meat on it and it actually works really well with this skinnier pipe. So you're just able to stick that right on there and that fits right in there. And then this other side right here, the other side doesn't have as much meat on it and it just goes right in the other side. You're able to pop these together, you're able to tighten them up, and that's how you adapt from inch and a half copper over to inch and a half ABS, PVC, cast iron, something like that. This really helps with older home remodels and I hope it helped you today. And so then we'll use this awesome tool right here to put this in. This is a rigid, ratcheting no hub wrench it's a number 902 this is heavy duty this is probably the best one of these i've ever used it's just big it's bulky and it works so then you just take this you don't have to use these you could use a nut driver you could use a socket um set you could use a i don't know something else but you just go with this and it actually is torqued so you can feel it and it just kind of clicks over and we'll just do it again. Get this hooked up. And it just kind of clicks over. And now we're good to go. That's sealed, it's in place, ain't going anywhere. All right, folks, so it's awesome to know that something like this exists. If not, you might run around the plumbing aisle freaking out, not knowing what you're looking for. Nobody needs any of that. I do not want anybody running around the box store all crazy. It's already bad enough when you go into any kind of hardware store or big box store these days with the COVID, man. Like it, <laughs> I've never seen it so bad. Um, that and raise your hand if you're done with a mask. I know I am. Like I'm ready to not be wearing a mask, especially on a salmon day, right? We're big salmon eaters here up in the Pacific Northwest. And I'm going to tell you, you eat a piece of salmon jerky and then you have to wear that mask the rest of the day. It's a joke. <laughs> it sucks. So anyway, these adapters going from copper to ABS, they're awesome. Or copper to cast iron or PVC, whatever other medium you're using going from copper to something else, they're great. The rigid ratcheting wrench is awesome. I'll put a link in the description box below. Um, I really hope this video helps. I want to give a big thanks to everybody out there that's supporting the channel. Thank you for watching. Like, really, I'm excited and happy. I love doing this. I love helping people. And this is a great platform to do it. I have enjoyed my time in YouTube. It is a lot of work. If you're going to start something like this, just know you're getting into a crap load of work. Um, you know, I, I might have thought my friend, the Stony Ridge farmer, was exaggerating a little bit, but he was not exaggerating when he told me, get ready to get busy. Because if you thought you were busy before, you have no clue. He's absolutely right. So once again, I really hope this video helps. If you could please subscribe to the channel, we would greatly appreciate it. Pound that like button, share us with your friends and your family, anybody that can use any kind of DIY tips. We would greatly appreciate it. 
Thank you very much and have a great evening.